previously on Super Idols RPG. You're starting to worry about Anne, uh, because nobody can get a hold of her. It's getting to the point where she's torn between uh, being really worried and also stressed about the performance coming up. I, I love idols. I, I, I my, my favorites are are the Bomb Bomb Brothers um, and 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 Sorry Nice Wait. Guy. Um, yeah. Wait, do you say the the Bomb Bomb Brothers? Yeah, they're like my super favorite. Do you do you listen to them too? They're my favorite. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're my favorite too. <laughs> and they're like fangirling together. <laughs> and as Valerie looks at the picture more, she notices that there's something about the picture she didn't notice before. Sort of in the background behind the four of you, you see what looks like. A very faint, but definitely there, black sphere. Hmm. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Super Idols RPG. As always, I'm your GM, Aaron Cerise, and with me today are Dana. Hello. T. Hello. Drac. Hello. And Luca. Hello. Uh, so we are back, full group again, back from our two duo sessions, uh, both of which were very different, uh, but both of which also revealed some very interesting things. T and Luca, you got to have your characters do some investigation stuff, and you met a few very important people. And Drac and Dana, your characters went to jam with Karen and get your first rhythmic song ready for primetime. So both very important advancements in the plot. All that excitement aside, uh, there's also been a lot of worry brewing in the last few days. Especially on the Fork McNally Idol Club Disc Idol server, which <laughs> has Angie renamed that to like the Rhythmic server at this point, or is it, or does she not know how to change it? I think she would have changed it immediately, like after on her phone, like right after they all agreed on the name. All right. <laughs> She's good at the like administrative tasks. <laughs> I should not have, I should not have doubted her. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, you've all been having some conversations on there about how you've all been increasingly worried about Anne and why she hasn't been at school or answering anyone's messages. Uh, you all know where Cynthia went, at least. There's no issues there. I even said in the last session, we're saying that Cynthia even has messaged Valerie and Angie to reassure them that she is, in fact, okay. She's just not around. But Anne has been completely silent since Tuesday night, so... Why don't you all show me your most recent disc idol conversation on Sunday? Uh, this can either be like a text chat or a voice or video call, however you prefer to play that out. Ooh, I think um, Jaden probably texts everyone like, hey, has anyone heard back from Anne? No, I've tried to DM her and haven't gotten a response. I haven't heard anything either. Nothing on my side either. Guys, I'm a little bit worried. Like, she would tell us if something happened, right? Yeah, I mean, she was just as, you know, invested in everything as the rest of us. She wouldn't just disappear without saying anything. Is there nothing you can think about the last time you, you saw her? Nothing seemed odd that I could think of. Yeah, we were just at the stormlight, and then uh, after we... You know, took the videos and pictures of everything. Uh, we we all split up and didn't see her after that. Yeah. We haven't seen her since... Yeah, I think it was just you folks that were the last to see her. I think we should investigate. Yeah, something's up, right? Yeah, there's, there's something else. And I, th I think I actually would have sent... I guess I'm not sure of the exact timing of this, but I... I Took a picture that, uh, in the, the last duo session, I took, took a picture and sent it to the disc idol chat. And then there is a, a stinger at the end of the episode where I, I noticed something weird in the background of the picture. So I'll bring that up. Although, first of all, just so that, uh, T and Luca know, Valerie sent a 
picture of herself, Jaden, Karen, and Amber Lee, like, squished together to take a group selfie. Hmm. But then, uh, sorry, Aaron, can you remind me what it was that I saw in the picture in the stinger? Yeah, in the in the background of this photo, it's not very noticeable because it's it's part of the background and it's not, like, entirely, like, opaque. It kind of looks like it could just be, like, a shadow in the picture, but it does stand out due to the shape. It is just like a kind of a fuzzy black sphere in the background of the image. Yeah, in, in the picture I sent, I maybe, maybe it's nothing or it's unrelated, but I, I thought there was like a weird like sphere behind us. And I don't know, I, I just got the feeling maybe some, something or someone was following us then. Oh, yeah. Angie pulls out uh, her phone and to scroll through our group chat to find the picture, and she looks at it. And what does the sphere look like? Like, is, does it look like blurry or? Yeah, it definitely looks blurry. Um, and it's it again. It's not in a very like obvious place. Like it's near some other things that are kind of shadowed in the background, so that's why it doesn't really stand <laughs> out. But it definitely, when you look closer, it is a darker like shade than the other shadows around it and it does have a very definable like circular look to it yeah this is weird this is weird right no yeah should should we tell karen because that was in karen's place yeah okay i i wasn't sure if i was seeing things so you know it, it's there or looks like it's there whatever that is I guess Karen would be in the disc idol chat as well. Maybe she's just not active right now. Someone might have to add her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like Angie would have added everyone, but uh oh, we're having this over chat, right? Yeah, this I think okay. we established this is happening <laughs> over text chat right now. Right, right. Yeah, I assume Karen would be in the chat. I would at her and say, "Have you seen this before?" And then you get, like, a, a question mark back from her, and then Karen is typing. Not that I know of. Oh, okay. Karen, be careful. With a bunch of exclamation marks. <laughs> okay, she says with uh, triple exclamation marks. <laughs> is something watching us? What is, what is this thing? Do you have any ideas? Like, could it be an idle power? Oh, no, um... Have you guys gotten another idol, like, group's bad side? I mean, just, I mean, aside from Sagittaria? Yeah. Mm, no, not any groups. I mean, we had a dance battle with a individual idol, but he initiated it. And they seemed fine after we parted ways, like we parted ways on good terms, right, B? I mean, we trounced them, but it didn't seem like they were gonna... Hold the grudge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Sagittaria could spy on us because, well, we, I should say we already know how they were spying on us. Yeah. Oh. I still have to deal with that. Well, I've watched exactly two detective movies, and they always start at the last scene where we saw the missing person. Maybe we should check out Stormlight and around the area. Maybe yeah. we could figure something out? Yeah. That seems like yeah. a good idea. That That's a good sense. idea. I checked with the school and her parents, and they don't know anything. So, yeah, we should check there. Let's go on an investigative adventure for Anne. For Anne. For Anne. <laughs> and Karen texts a fist emoji like she's raising a fist. Yeah. Jaden does the exact same. Fist emoji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a string of fist emojis. <laughs> <laughs> But Valerie replies with okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so y'all agree to go and head out to the stormlight. Um it's a little later in the afternoon at this point, um, uh, because we established in Dana and Drax's session that uh Valerie had an obligation on Sunday afternoon to drop by Rain Shadow Records around one. Um I don't I don't know if we want to play that out. It's very, like, just procedural. So I, th I think we can just say you've already done that. Mm -hmm. And it went uh, about as well as anything goes with going to Rain Shadow and talking to Mary Rain. Mm -hmm. Like, you basically probably just kept your head down and 
did what they wanted, just for the sake of keeping everybody out of your hair. Yeah, just very acted very professional and came away emotionally exhausted. Mm hmm. You know, work. Right. And thankfully, you did get your uh, your composition, your original composition approved for the set list. Uh, you you did have to have a little bit of <laughs> convincing from Grace and a couple of the other Rain Shadow employees to actually convince Mary that the song was worthwhile. Uh, but that but she did say yes, eventually. All right. Good. Anyway, so you you all agree to to meet up near the Stormlight in the Neon District, let's say. It's been a couple hours, so maybe around, like, I don't know, 3.30-ish? Sounds good, yeah. So you all meet up there around then. Uh, you're, again, kind of, like, right outside the Stormlight. Uh, where would you like to go? Okay, where was the last time you saw Anne? Um, Jaden, like, walks over to the door of the Stormlight and just stands, like, right in front of it and then faces everyone as if he's just leaving. I was right here... And then we went our separate ways. Okay. Do you remember which way she walked? Um, that way? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that Anne walked in kind of an opposite direction from the rest of you, just because her, I guess, bus route is probably to a slightly different area than the rest of you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull out my cell phone camera and, like, take a few pictures of the surrounding area just in case and I have like the voice note app going and I'm like (laughs) at the scene of the crime and we're looking for which direction Anne went and she went that way and then I stop the voice (laughs) note (laughs) log date Sunday September 13th 3.30pm I don't know I heard journalists do it no, no, it's, it's, that's right. I remember seeing, um, I think Nancy Drew does that. Yeah, yeah. Nancy Drew totally did that. That's where I saw it. She totally does that. Karen nods in agreement. <laughs> Can I, I actually want to kind of look around and like actually investigate. Is that like an assess the situation kind of role? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, well, you you can w- roll the, our brand new investigation move if you oh, want yeah. to. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Toss. yes, uh, I described this in uh, T and Luca's session. We had a <laughs> we had a bit of a time in that session because we realized that this campaign in general has probably more investigation elements than a masks campaign is supposed to have. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of on the fly uh, imported the investigate a mystery move from Ma- from Monster of the Week, and that that only kind of worked. <laughs> so I have written up an actual custom move for this. And it's called Ooh, ah. Industry Espionage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the move text for this custom move is, When you investigate with the intent of either gaining an edge in the super idol world or solving a super idol related mystery, roll plus superior. On a 10 plus, ask two questions. And on a 7 to 9, ask one. On a 12 plus, one of your questions can be anything you want, not just one from the list. And on a miss, either your investigation attracts immediate unwanted attention, or you have to give something up to get out unnoticed. Oh boy. Well, I do for minus two in superior. So that totally <laughs> right. makes me well equipped for this. <laughs> Well, someone else can roll it too if you would prefer. Um, I've actually been watching a lot of detective shows for myself, uh, no particular reason, but uh, I could give it a try. <laughs> yeah, maybe you were inspired to start watching some Netflix mysteries after uh, Cynthia mentioned that her aunt was watching them, and you were like, "Oh, yeah, I I forgot there was some shows I wanted to check out." Yeah, yeah. And uh, my mom's really into them, so um, for some reason, we've really been bonding a little bit over watching (laughs) these mysteries. She finds them very soothing because they're very structured. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll give it a try. All right, so you get to roll plus superior. Oh wait, right. We should say we didn't because we didn't say this on mic, by the way, because Angie uh, rolled a few failures last time. 
Uh, she has actually advanced. Yay! Ooh. Yay! Mm-hmm. And uh, tell the audience at home what advancement you've won. <laughs> So I chose to uh, shift my labels any way I wanted to and add a plus one to any of my labels. So my sum of five levels or five labels is four now instead of three. And I've shifted some things around so that my superior is plus one now because never again. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Very good. Yes. Angie has been learning from her mistakes. I think you called it. Yes, yeah, exactly. And uh, one of the ways she's been doing that is this attempt to watch some investigative related shows. (laughs) I'll totally allow it. (laughs) That is the justification (laughs) for sure. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, you didn't you needed that plus one in superior too. (laughs) I sure did. Yeah. (laughs) You got A7. (laughs) Okay, so Let's look at the list of questions. So, you get to ask one question from the following list. What happened here? What here is most useful or valuable to me? What can I use to find blank? Who can I talk to for more leads? What is something that's being concealed? How can I best conceal myself here? And what sort of magic is involved? Although that last one you can only ask if you're transformed. Mm, Okay. I'm torn between what here is most useful and what is something that's being concealed. Isn't the one that she says, what can I use to find blank? Can we just say... Oh, what can, can I use to, use to find Anne? Find Anne? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Can, you, you can say that. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what, I'll, that's what I'll ask. What can I use to find Anne? All right. So you don't frequent this area a ton on any of you, but you, you definitely have been here before. And you start thinking like, oh, well, what can we use to find out where Anne went exactly? And you realize, oh, the people in this group here were not the only ones who were there on Tuesday. There's probably some staff at the Stormlight who probably would have seen her leave as well. So you could probably ask uh, someone inside the Stormlight. Okay, um, maybe, uh, maybe we should ask somebody at the Stormlight. If they were there that yeah. day, they might have seen something that uh, that you missed. Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked to Petra here. She was really nice. Maybe we could see if she's if uh, they're working. Yeah. Well, I'll have to transform one moment because uh, I I talked to her as Violence Violet. Oh sure, and thankfully the Neon District has no shortage of dark alleys that you can transform in. Mm-hmm. It would hardly be the cyberpunk district without lots of dark alleys. Exactly. <laughs> Which makes it all the more worrying if Anne disappeared from this area. Oh, yeah. So I will transform. Okay. Um, what labels would you like to shift? I think there's like an out-of-character practical thing to do, but uh, I think I'm going to go with what Valerie would be thinking in this moment, which is superior up and freak down. Okay. You're you're trying to... This is more a practical transformation than, like, something you're prepping for using your abilities with, then. Yes. Okay. So you do that. You finish up your transformation in a a nearby alley and and step out. uh, Newly floofled. Uh, Anybody else... Does anybody else want to transform, by the way? Or uh, or do we want to keep it mundane for the rest of you? I want to stay mundane. Yeah, I'm going to stay mundane for now. And Queen Bee is already transformed. Oh, yes. I guess we probably should do a quick label shift for Queen Bee as well, just okay. to show that you transformed on the way. Uh, what what labels would you like to shift? I think I want to raise uh, superior and lower danger. Perfect. People know what this session is about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, for reference, Queen Bee had a minus one superior before and now has a zero. <laughs> All right, so everybody's ready. Uh, in that case, you all head to the front entrance of the Stormlight and uh, you head in through the big black glass doors and inside, sure enough, you see in the position that uh, she was in the last time, the couple of you who were there last time saw her in, you see Petra, who, for those who haven't met her before, is a very tall, very burly woman, like burly enough to rival Anne. Um, She has kind of like a brownish red kind of braided hair and a lot of dark clothing 
and she's got her arms crossed. She's clearly the bouncer here. And her, her name badge says Petra. Wow. Uh, and she looks very, very serious at first. And she she sort of automatically starts to be like, name. And then she lowers her like bouncer sunglasses and her face lights up like, oh, it's you lot. Oh, thank. Oh, I'm so glad to see you again. How are you? Who are your friends? Oh, um, hi, Petra. Hi. Uh, we're doing OK. These are the other members of the group. Queen Bee. My pleasure. And Bane Raven. Hello. Oh, well, a f- well, a f- well, a friend of Vivi and Elementum is a friend of mine. How how the hell are you? And she extends a big hand to, for everybody to shake. I shake, I shake it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly multiple hands reach at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and Karen waves as well. She's she's a little quiet this session. Um, I guess because she's still technically recovering, but she's recovered enough to go out at least. So what can I do for you? Do, you? do you have anything else you need to do to prepare for, for the big gig this weekend? I sort of. We actually are wondering if you if you heard anything from Anne after we left as a group. We haven't seen her since. Oh. I reach over with my phone that's recording the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was wondering where the where the big girl was. Um that's concerning. Like I guess uh, when y'all left, uh, oh, let me think here. Um, and she she walks to the towards the front door and pokes her her head out, and tries to remember like what direction everybody went. So, so the two of you went kind of that way, I think, right? Uh, I know the big girl went kind of the other way, and oh yeah, yeah, I, I noticed she kind of went like towards like past. She gestures toward like past that noodle joint back there and turned like right, and I think that's. I was a little, uh, I, normally if it was anyone else, I'd be worried if they were going that way, because it's a little kind of like more seedy in that direction. Um, but I figured big eight foot tall stone person wouldn't have much problem going that way. Yeah, she is really badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she certainly seemed like it. I, cer- I Dang, I was, I was looking forward to arm wrestling with her. Like, I don't want her to be missing. Um, yeah, neither do we. Yeah, yeah. yeah. neither do we. We want to find her. Hmm. Well, yeah, it, it. I definitely saw her turn down like the the right hand street that way. Uh, y- be careful. There, there are like a few like less than above board um, businesses down that way. So keep your guard up. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, Angie says and cracks her knuckles. <laughs> we'll be fine. Thank you, Miss Peter. You were invaluable. Oh, much obliged. I like you already, Miss. B, Queen B. Miss B, of course. That is a fabulous jacket, by the way. Thank you, I love your braid. Thank you! I've been trying to condition it. I, uh, Twiddle was trying to show me, like, the best conditioner to use. I still need to figure out on where he got that. I think it was other Texas. Right, That's yeah. right. Still need to... F- I... Still a little, I, a little, um, you know, uh, she doesn't know if you've told your other groupmates about the other Texas in detail yet. <laughs> Still a yeah, little... Yeah, we heard. Okay, so you know then, and she gives kind of a, like, <laughs> confused uh, sigh. I'm also, still not sure how much of what he said was, like, a lie to begin with. Yeah. I talked to my aunt about the Texan oil thing, and she was pretty sure it wouldn't work great with my hair. At least my hair type, I don't know. Um... I'm pretty sure that part, at least, was, like, a cover of some kind. I don't think you have to worry mm-hmm. about it. But, yeah, from what I've from what I've known about the, the extensions and all of them, like, for, like, a bunch of hardened criminals, I guess, they, they seem pretty chill. Like, they're good people. As good as people who, like, go around stealing other musicians' instruments can be, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm sure if there's one thing you can trust them on, it's it's hair care. <laughs> See, you get it. We probably should get going. Um, thank you, Petra. Yeah, thank you. I'll hopefully all of us will see you next week. Yeah, hopefully it was very nice meeting you. Oh yeah, nice to meet. Well, see y'all on Saturday. I'm looking. I'm still looking forward to the performance, and I hope you find the big girl soon because it wouldn't be the same without her. Yeah. 
I hope we mm-hmm. do too. All right, Bye. well, <laughs> y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if she's actually doing that on as a a real thing or just as a bit, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a difference? <laughs> I open a new voice note. Anne went that way past Noodle Place towards seedy businesses. Question mark. And then I stop the voice note. Wait, do you say question mark? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> you, she has to say it so that the transcription app will work. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense, yeah. So I think as as we're walking, I think Jaden's going to transform. Now that he knows we're going to be walking into a shady place. All right. So you, you duck into that, that very... Ki- well, I guess you don't have to duck into the alley because you don't care if anybody yeah. knows who you, you are. Yeah. He kind of wants everyone to know who he is. <laughs> yeah, so you can just, like, transform in the middle of the street if you want. Yeah, just as he's walking, he doesn't even slow down. He just transforms as he walks down the street. And All right. I think I'm going to bump... <laughs> the smart thing would be to bump Superior up. But I guess he's technically doing this to be prepared for anything going sideways. So I think could probably bump Savior up and mundane down all right that sounds good yeah you're ready to be less than normal and to protect your friends at all costs exactly and definitely not investigate anything because your superior still a minus two yeah <laughs> um i'm it's gonna fine. watch two de- <laughs> detective <laughs> movies it's great <laughs> i'm gonna transform as well i think sure and you're doing this in the middle of the street as well yeah, yeah, she's cool with it. Yeah, oh, this could be a fun thing, like, going off at the same time, considering, like, Jaden's transformation is full of a bunch of, like, wind and water and fire and all and all of that. Mm-hmm. And you've got, like, your sparklers going off. Yeah, and, uh... This is the, uh, split-screen transformation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, and which labels are you shifting? Uh, I'm going to shift my danger down uh, one and then put my savior up one. Okay. Before before we, we start investigating in that direction, Fowler is going to stop everyone and say with kind of... Uh, oh, um, actually, before you launch into this, I guess oh, if, okay. we're, if we're going into something next, uh, there was one little like post-transformation thing that I wanted to do first. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, since your transformations are both very flashy and you both did them at the same time in the middle of the street on a, a very popular music super idol focused area of town. Oh, no. um, oh, you, right. <laughs> you actually get like you turn a few heads with that and people go like, ooh, oh, ah, and they're very like kind of interested in you actually. <laughs> And a few people do shoot a little bit of cell phone video of you doing that, going like, oh, that was so cool. Oh, who are you? Jaden's waving like, hi, I'm Jaden. <laughs> hi, uh, Bane Raven. Check out our show next Saturday. And and Karen is right there with the light sticks like, yes, go see Rhythmics in concert Saturday at the Stormlight, 6 p.m. Check us out. <laughs> and Angie's doing jazz hands. Jaden's doing finger guns as well. Also, his idol name is Elementum. This is Violet's oh, yeah, yeah, Violet. Yeah. And this is Queen Bee. You can see them live in person. Yeah, that actually leads into what I was about to say, okay. which is <laughs> um, that Vivi sees the, the people taking pictures and she says, uh, actually, maybe we should check. And she, she takes out her own her own cell phone and she's avoiding eye contact as she says, maybe we should, I should try taking another group picture. Oh, yeah, let's take a selfie. Just to see if the, the same thing happens again. Oh, oh yeah. The investigation. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea, oh, actually. Yeah, yeah so you, you do that, and you get a, like, a, a few people off the street being like, oh, can we take pictures with you too? And you've got like a bunch of people lining up to take like this group selfie behind you. Um... Angie makes use of this, and then after we take the one selfie, she's like taking selfies with people from like different directions of the street so <laughs> oh, she yeah, yeah. can get different <laughs> angles to see. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Jaden is taking selfies with everyone. It's just like, oh, do you want a selfie? Yeah, cool. And just take a selfie with them. <laughs> like, he's probably at this point, like, if once this is over, he'll probably remember, but in the moment, it's like, 
Wow, people want to take selfies with me? Okay, I'm going to take selfies with everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this attention is probably very welcome for Queen Bee as well, considering like you oh, haven't yes. gotten some great attention on social media lately. Oh, uh, yes, I'm drinking it up and I'm offering to do selfies where... Like, I'm standing on the wall, but it angled like it looks like the per the other person is standing oh, on the wall. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, you get, like, so, like people eat that up. They, they're, people are all about those kinds of, like, trick photos. It's wonderful, and uh, uh, tag it with the hive. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, also with the group name, I hope, too. Oh, of course. <laughs> the hive this is, and this is where the, the hashtag... The signal booster, too. Yeah. This is where the hashtag Rhythmix gets its start. Oh, Check us yeah. out on Saturday. <laughs> Guess on trending. Tag your photos. Hashtag rhythmics. Extra X on the end. That's what that's what Karen is helping to tell people as well. Karen gave us the X, the extra one. And she she uh, crosses her her hands in front of her with the light sticks out, and people <laughs> kind of like start to to mimic this motion as well, like the this X motion. <laughs> oh. Excellent. I kind of like that. Um, Great idea. Excellent indeed. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I think Vivi is actually looking a little uncomfortable with the attention, but is like is is posing with people and then you know letting them take selfies with her and then handing out uh, violence violet business cards that she oh yes <laughs> she picked up earlier today. Mm -hmm. I like uh, to think that this is, like, incorporated into your transformation, too. Like, <laughs> you picked up the business cards and incorporated them into your Violence Violet outfit, so they're always <laughs> available when you transform. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know how that works, but that is definitely what happens. Yeah, whatever, like, dimensional weirdness happens where your costume comes from, <laughs> you can put small items in there to, to go mm -hmm. with your costume. Yeah, so it's just, like, I think... The first person that she agrees to take a selfie with, I, I just like sort of pinch my fingers in midair, and there's a little little like tear, like part of my transformation sequence, and I pull a little business card Ooh. Uh, out of it and Ooh. hand it to them. Nice, very nice. And then everybody thinks that's amazing, and they just want to see me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have like multiple videos on social media after this um, on Idle Grandma from different angles of you doing this trick a few times. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> after everybody has their, their little moment of, like, attention, uh, you, you manage to, like, get people to be like, okay, yes, we, you don't know who we are, but um, you can come see us on Saturday. Uh, so you mm -hmm. are able to, to get away to one of the less busy areas of the street towards where you need to go. Awesome. Uh, so the, my first question is, do we see another weird, fuzzy sphere in this group selfie uh weirdly enough no you don't uh do mm -hmm. i see any in all of the selfies i've saved of all of our new fans nope it, it, it is in none of them that anyone has taken okay i just delete all of the selfies <laughs> <laughs> um okay well good i just wanted to you know make sure since it was a, a group photo where that happened last time Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, and it, that's smart. I look around suspiciously to see, just in case, if the shadows are weird or anything like that. Hang on. <laughs> I want to see if there's a if there's a move that I can do this. Because there's not like really a perception move in masks. I think this could be an assess, more or less. Uh, yeah, it could be. Like, It's not like a super dangerous situation right now, but I think some of the questions on that list are still relevant. So if you wanted to roll to assess the situation, you could. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll give that, I'll give that a try. Um, so you get to roll superior again. Oh, see? Coming in handy. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> ha, -ha. Ha, ha That is a ten. So on a ten plus, you get to ask two out of the following. What here can I use to blank? What here is the biggest threat? What here is in the greatest danger? Who here is most vulnerable to me, and how could we best end this quickly? What here is the biggest threat would be one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say there actually isn't a lot that's threatening in your immediate vicinity. The the biggest threat is probably just the what was what Petra described earlier is the the kind of uh, shadier like business area that you're about to head into. 
because there's right. there's a lot of like kind of back alley dealings in that area. Um, there's probably a few um, quote unquote legitimate businesses, that kind of thing. Okay, cool. And um, I'm also going to ask, what here can I use to, and I'm going to say find information on Anne, but I'm looking for stuff like maybe cameras or anything like that that might be in the area. Oh, sure. Yeah, like it, just to make sure that no one is watching you. Yeah, yeah. And potentially to see if we can get some footage to see if something was following Anne or anything like that that we can figure out how to get I think hmm, that's an interesting question. I think if you wanted to like get like higher angles or like find some way to like get views that are like not easy to get from ground level, the best way to do that would probably be to ask somebody whose powers can allow them to get up high. So like maybe Queen okay. Bee or maybe uh, BB, or I guess Jaden, if you used your wind powers, you could probably I I would allow <laughs> you to like. Superman leap or or fl- or maybe even fly for a short distance. We know that a- actually we know that Angie can jump real high too. So just if you wanted That's to get up true. higher, uh, high. it probably would be good to get like a higher vantage point to look for cameras or look for places where you yourself could set up like cameras or things like that. Okay. I'm wondering now I'm thinking about the option of scaling the roofs as a potential site point. So I take out my note. <laughs> And I say, uh, vantage points on the roofs um, to assess possible dangers. A possibility, question mark? And then I I, uh, close the note. Uh, Hey, B. Yes? Are you able to fly up and see if there's any cameras or just take a look down that shady street just to make sure? Well, uh, I... Don't Anything fly, away. but I can, uh, I can walk up there. I can get up the roof. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And if you're trying to do this unseen, uh, you can use the industry espionage move, because one of the questions on that list is, how can I best conceal myself here? Yes. Let's be discreet. Right. And this is also part well, of your investigation as well, so it's relevant. Let's do it uh, in the Spider-Man style, so kind of right. crawling. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh gosh! Oh no! <laughs> That's a four. Oh dear! Mm-hmm. That's bad. You do have three team points if you wanted to splurge and spend all your team. <laughs> um, uh, but depends on how how much you think you need that right now. No, I think we might need. I think we might need more later on. Yeah, it's not <laughs> and because this is we'll... everybody. This is more. You'll be conspicuous, and everybody's going to see you do it. Y- yeah. <laughs> Well, either just, um, someone's gonna just open the window either, and pass and find Either you will get attention, or you have to give something up to not get attention. So, which would you prefer? Do you think? Hmm. I have no problem in getting some attention. All right. Uh, how do you feel? I'm. I'm fine with that. I mean, we kind of did a light show mm-hmm. <laughs> like a few minutes ago. So yeah, <laughs> it works for the narrative. We're not being very true detectives. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's what happens actually. As uh, you you start to try and like uh, subtly try and find a wall to walk up, um, but there are still like a couple people who were watching you earlier and are you're still in their line of sight, uh, and they spot you going up the wall and they're excited all over again. Like, oh look look look, she's doing it! Look look look! And uh, and people kind of walk towards your general area as you're walking up towards the roof, uh, and as you're kind of kind of on the edge of where. This like seedier street is. You can see like a couple uh, people <laughs> down the street who are peering at you now as well, who didn't see you before. Uh, I wave. <laughs> <laughs> so can I see anything from up here? Uh, since you failed your move, um, unfortunately, no, you can't really see anything too helpful okay. from here. It's not a, not as good a view as you would have thought. There's there's buildings in the way. There's like power lines and stuff in the way. There's a bunch of holograms that you didn't like think would be a problem, but like they shifted to a new thing and now it's blocking something. Okay, uh, I call down. Angie, sorry, I can't see anything. We need to get up higher. Oh, okay. Thanks for trying. Yeah, so the the consequence of this is you're you're going to have a much harder time um, being sneaky in this area now. Hmm. Well, 
I can try something I've been practicing. Ooh. What have you been practicing? Well, I've, I've made steps and platforms with my powers before, but I've been trying to control my powers more and get more out of them. Uh, so, you know, I can make big displays on the stage without losing control. Um, but anyway, I have... I, I guess that we're not being subtle, so... Uh, and, and then I'm going to try to just create a platform under myself and lift up. I think it's it's not like a floating platform, it's more like a uh, a pillar of glowing purple energy, so it is not subtle or uh, unnoticeable. <laughs> Are you playing this off as like more part of the, the Rhythmics promotion machine at this point? Yeah, that's that's probably the best way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, now you're all kind of like rising to, well, you're all starting to rise to these higher places now. <laughs> it might, mm. might be, it might make Ooh. sense for that. I tap Karen to get <laughs> pictures for our social media page. Yeah, so now that, now that you realize that like you're not getting unnoticed, uh, Karen agrees this is probably best to like turn to your advantage at least. So she takes out her phone and starts taking Pictures of uh, Queen Bee posing on the this side of the rooftop, and a Vivi on top of her like glowing pillar of purple light, and she kind of nods towards like Jaden and Angie, being like, eh, eh. "Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah." Queen Bee calls down, "Come on, guys, give them a show." Oh, 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 okay. Oh, um, oh. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and scale the wall. I figured it'd be like parkour or something like Ooh, that. Yeah, that'd, be that'd be cool. Good at that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there are enough alleys with buildings that are close enough together to do that. Yeah, so yeah, that's what she's. Yeah, she's purposely trying to do something cool now. Um, I guess I'll roll plus freak. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that All would right, be your, part of your, your strength is part of that. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, so making up That's for 11. <laughs> so you do it with uh, with a flourish. <laughs> How to describe this? Um, I do. I start with one of those, like, kind of wing runs, you know, like where you're, like, more in gymnastics, less Naruto, more gymnastics, <laughs> you know, very performative arm movements. And then uh, she finds two buildings where she just... Uh, she jumps and she kicks off one and then kind of backpacks off the other one until she gets to the top. Cool. And she does like a cool pose at the end. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely more like phone flashes and whatnot now. People are like taking videos and taking pictures of the three of you. Um, and now <laughs> that just leaves uh, Elementum to show off his stuff. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I want to be reckless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, you do have nah, a plus two in most of the relevant stats right now. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe if I want to roll for a flare. Um, oh, you're right, you burn. Yeah, but I get three conditions if I fail it. <laughs> That's oh. a lot. Yeah, you could oh, just gosh. unleash your powers, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to unleash my powers. Yeah, if you um, think it's not worth that risk, <laughs> then you can just do that, too. Yeah, I was, he's just gonna like, he's gonna tell me to back up a little bit and then turn and run and then just, he jumps and then in midair blows directly downwards and basically just a, a combination of air and flame just go out of his mouth and he projects it, he just propels himself up into the face of the roof with like a little jet, as a, he's basically a jetpack. Nice. That's the idea anyway. Let's see if it works out. Yeah, I feel I feel like your outfit is like kinda like dazzlingly shifting between the, the air form and the fire form as you do this too. Yeah. Ah, uh, fingers crossed. Hmm? Nope. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, that's great. I thought so. You know <laughs> <laughs> That's a four. Uh oh. does it act well, you all are like doing this together kind of like do you want to use your team um, on this or no i'll take it i'll take the uh, i'll take the condition all right 
You know what? Instead of using team, can I roll to try to defend Jaden from oh, falling? That's a good idea. Uh, I think. Let me just make sure. How does that work when that's <laughs> supposed to be for NPC or PC threats? Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm also the GM, and what I say goes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think the defend move, even just looking at the the options for it, um, I don't think that would help very much. Okay. Yeah, I'll t- I'll take it. I mean, that means advance. That's a, that's a plus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> also, um, as we've said in the first couple episodes of this show, we could also go the route of you succeed, and that's bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Oh, I have a, I have a fun idea. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> when the GM says that they have a fun idea, you know, <laughs> you gotta be Especially scared when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, guys. I've got a backup character ready. It's all cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you succeed at this. So t- first, tell me, tell me how, how this works. I guess. <laughs> You you already told us a little bit, but tell us how you yeah. join the others and how how you all look together. Yeah, so he in like mid air, he probably blows quite hard, and just a, a just a jet of fire and air um, rocks out of his mouth and propels it up, and then in mid air, kind of twists around, stops, and just like waves as he gently lands on the roof, <laughs> um, probably <laughs> next to um, Bane Raven. Awesome. Yeah, so you all you all make it up there. You all make it up to relatively the same roof, and you, you do, like, a cool pose up there. Karen's taking pictures from down below. Everybody's loving it. Um, the, the lighting is great just because this is the neon district, and there's, there's cool lighting effects everywhere. Um, you get, like, backlit by a cool hologram, and it's, it's great. Um, but then you hear from behind you, uh, you hear an explosion on the roof. Uh, and you look behind you. You realize you haven't actually looked much behind you on this roof yet. And B, you realize that the thing that the one of the holograms that you saw was blocking from your vision before was a makeshift performance area. There's a small crowd gathered here, like very small. There's kind of a stage, like semi-transportable stage, not the one that you saw Sagittaria use, but like just like a stage that you can collapse and take with you if you want to. This is set up there and on the stage are three people who all look very similar to each other. Uh, they look like they could be brothers. <laughs> let's just say. And they're looking at you with annoyance. And Jaden, you know exactly who they are. It's the Bum Bum Brothers. And you've just crashed oh their my. secret show. <sighs> I think Jaden like turns around, sees them, and just like <laughs> freezes up completely. <laughs> yes, this is a thing that the Bomb Bomb Brothers do. Like they they tend to they all have kind of explosion based powers, and they they tend to have these sorts of like secret shows around the city every now and then near like kind of construction areas and the like so that there's not as much danger of their powers like hurting anybody or like destroying anything that shouldn't be destroyed and sure enough there is some like uh scaffolding and stuff up here that looks like it could be um demolished if need be (laughs) and since it's secret the crowd is not Again, not very large, so there's just a few people who manage to follow their clues on social media and find the spot. No way. And he just like looked at everyone else. They're, they're the... And he just starts hyperventilating. He just starts <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> um, Elementum, are you uh, in? It's in? Uh, I, I saw this video. I saw this video on online, and uh, she finds like a video of one of those breathe in, breathe out videos. <laughs> just, uh, just follow this. Easy, honey. Easy. I feel like Angie has this saved in her YouTube like downloads page. <laughs> yeah, because as we all know, 
Angie is perfectly rational and never emotional whatsoever, so would definitely not have mm-hmm. a list of things like this to keep her cool. Aww. Aww. <laughs> and it's definitely not the bull for any particular reason. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's... so she just uh, helps him through it. Like when he calms down just enough to speak, he kind of goes, he just points at them at the bum, the bum, bum bros, and it's like. I, I'm your biggest fan. And they look, they're actually kind of far away, so they shout, What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm your biggest fan. They shout back, Well, we wouldn't have been able to tell, because it seems like you're trying to blow up our spot. What? No, I, that was an accident. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to. Are you trying I'm- to take attention away from us? What the hell, man? No, I, w- I would never do that. Actually, I didn't know you were here. I was trying to... Figure out the clues earlier today. I, I mean, earlier this week about where you'd be, and I couldn't and, figure it out. I and they, they still can't really hear everything that you're saying from <laughs> here. But you do know uh, that the, the small crowd is starting to part as the three of them uh, jump off the stage, and they're making their way towards you, all looking very annoyed. Oh, oh no! At at this oh. point, Vivi like takes a uh, like takes like a a graceful jump off of her her platform onto the roof where everyone else is. Guys, I think I messed up. (laughs) Well, if it's a secret show, then how do they expect other idols to avoid it? I don't- I don't know. Oh, I'm certain they'll be reasonable. I think they probably, like, they probably don't know that you didn't see them. They haven't been able to hear you explain that yet. Yeah. (laughs) They think that Mm -hmm. you came up here and now are immediately trying to take attention away from them. Okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm the president, so I'll, uh, I guess I'll, uh, talk to them. Uh, we'll sort this out and everything will be fine. This is just a misunderstanding. Can, can and you she's, like, pulling they, up the video so that she can keep. <laughs> <laughs> and Jane kind of, like, just whispered, like, can, can you, I'm, I'm really shy, but can you ask him if they can sign my jumper? Wait, hold on. Oh, no, I transformed. <laughs> um, can they sign... Can I have the, the autograph? Um, can oh, you ask for oh, me? Jaden, tell them that you wanted to get their attention and you were a little too zealous about it. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, okay. so they're getting close. They get closer right now, cl- like close enough that you don't, they don't have to shout anymore. Their, their little crowd is following to um, kind of rabbling between themselves like rabble, rabble. Like, what are you interrupting the show for? This sucks. Like, who are, who are you? Chuckle Fox. <laughs> Chuckle Fox. <laughs> <laughs> this show allows swearing. It seemed like the right word. <laughs> oh, I love that. No, it's PG-13, and this is our one F word of the series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 14A, because we're in Canada. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. 14A is a much more, oh. uh, it's a much less restrictive rating than the American PG-13, don't you know? Ooh. That's true. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, it is a whole yeah, year. We get multiple swears. <laughs> you get yeah, multiple but, swears. Uh, at least three. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Again, James, okay. like, as they're getting close, like the whole time that they're getting closer, he's just waving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's hard for them to stay mad as they get closer and they can, like, more clearly see, like, how, like, genuine your expression is. And they, they kind of go, like, but. Oh, all right, fine. What, what's the deal? Like, what the, what the fuck is up? Like, I know that. Uh, I, I, I guess. Like, what are you doing here? Um, this was an accident. We were, um, we're just some students from the, uh, from the high school uh, who are performing next Saturday, so and we're just trying. What to- high? What high school? There's like a million high schools in this city. Fort McNally. Yes. What? And they're puzzling. Like they, I don't think they've heard of it. That's why we needed to be here this weekend mm-hmm. to uh, to promote. Um, I'm sorry, we had no idea that you were performing here. We definitely would not have done this. You can continue on with your show and we'll just kind of slink away. Um, my friend here, uh, his name is Jade, and he's actually a huge fan of you guys. And he would <clears> never <throat> do this. Elementum. Elementum would do this. And uh, we would not do this intentionally. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding, and we're very sorry. Right, I'm, Elementum? Yeah, I'm, really, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't know you. You guys were playing here. 
Um, uh, I, I know I'm asking you to roll superior a lot this episode, T, um, but I'm going <laughs> to ask you to roll to provoke someone. Uh, so, oh, okay. Yeah, because you're trying to get them to, like, calm down and listen to what you're saying. Okay, sure. <sighs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so you got an 11 on that. Uh, so on a, a 10 plus, they, they do what you want. Um, so they're gonna, they're, they're gonna listen to you. You seem very professional. You seem very level-headed. Jaden clearly seems very Somehow. apologetic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they, they start to calm down. The crowd, the crowd starts to calm down. Like, all right, I, I, I guess it is a secret show. I guess I can't fault you for not knowing about it. We just be more aware, like take a look around before you like start posing and like, Getting like yes. shots from down below next time, like it's totally, <sighs> totally, we'll do that. We will absolutely do those things. Yep, putting a note here. Can I get your autograph? And you hear down from a call from down below. You hear Karen's voice, like softly and distantly, like, oh, no. <laughs> "Are you all okay up there?" Yeah, we're fine. Um, and then I turn over to the. Um, the Bang Bang Bros, and I say, um, do you want us to tell the folks below that you're up here? And They they shake their heads like, no, 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 don't do that. No, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah, we're fine. We saw a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a rare time of year for butterflies. Good for you. Right? We're all really surprised about it. The butterfly. It's kind of cold for butterflies. It must be a strong one. Yeah. Resilient. Like rhythmics. Hashtag rhythmics. She kind of yells to the people around her. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like some more notifications on your phones as people start using the hashtag more. <sighs> Okay. Um, uh, so at, at that point, you can probably shuffle people away from the edge of the roof so they can't see you <laughs> as, as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Jane is probably like hiding behind um, Andy. <laughs> he kind of like peeks out from behind her, like, "Can I um, can I get your autographs, please?" Angie kind of tries to gently like push him so that he can be front and center. <laughs> and be like, "It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> they seem cool." Uh, well, and, and the 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 brother in the in the middle kind of like runs his fingers through his like very like silky boy band type hair, and says, "Well, we certainly can't ignore our fans, especially the ones who uh, found our secret show." And he he finally gives you a bit of a smile, uh, that winning idol smile that you love so much. Jaden is on the is the very close to swooning on the spot. Um, <laughs> but he's he's keeping it together enough. <laughs> it's cool. I've got him. I'll just like catch him if he faints. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you giving them to sign? <laughs> I think he's gonna give them um his drumsticks. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Whenever whenever he transforms, he summons like a pair of onyx drumsticks, and he's gonna just hand it over to them. Could you yeah. sign this? I I guess I don't know how visible it'll be like, and then they call out to their fans like, "Does anybody have like a gel marker oh, or something?" Yeah, I, uh, I have one. I have one. Hold on. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out one of the lighter gel pens that I have that are just always around. I'm just one of those. <laughs> That's those what Angie that keeps have. in her transformation outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this like. Transform when we sign autographs. I don't know how familiar <laughs> people are with um the the classic uh the classic masterpiece book series um Animorphs. <laughs> there's a there's a <laughs> there's a concept in that series called Z space, which is where like um <laughs> their matter goes when they transform into animals. Um, and I figured that's the sort of like BS pseudosciencey explanation I could use for where costume <laughs> stuff goes when you're not using it. What do you call I like my space? Yeah. Eye space. Idol space. Oh my Eye god. Space. <laughs> yeah. it yes, thank you. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> the, the, I guess it's the equivalent of hammer space too since it's very anime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So yes, uh you pull your gel pen out of um <laughs> out of eye space. And yeah, th then they the three of them take uh your drumsticks and they pass them around um uh, and they each sign one of their names um who I 
definitely named before this moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not using a name generator. <laughs> <laughs> um, there. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, I think I do need to use a, use a name generator. Excuse me. I, d- I wasn't expecting them to show up today. <laughs> It's like, I have plenty of time to (laughs) come up with more details about these characters. They won't be relevant for a while. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so they... Oh, I need a last name for them, too. (laughs) Maybe it's Bang. Or Bang. Oh. Oh. I wonder if that would be too on the nose. (laughs) Is there there such a thing? (laughs) Is there really such a thing? I mean, the other sibling groups we know all use their names, like the Brady Bunch... Yeah. The Jonas Brothers, the Moffats, Hanson. So it's on <laughs> pretty in trend, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, actually, um, here's here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, since they are the the Bomb Bomb Bros, their surname is just slightly removed from that, uh, and their last name is Bong, like B O N G. Okay. Cool. Uh, and their first names, uh, as uh, determined by uh, behind the name dot com are uh, Quentin Hollis and Brayden. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin and, Hollis and Brayden. I need to write that and, down. Uh, maybe Jaden's favorite is Brayden because his name sounds like Jaden. Oh yes. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I'll pop these yeah, spellings has, like, in chat. The silkiest hair of the group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. All right, so <laughs> let's. I guess I'll get back into the flow of it. <laughs> All right, so yes, they they take your your drumsticks and pass them around, and they and they each sign their names. Um, they are the the Bomb Bomb Brothers is their stage name, uh, but it's you know as a true fan that the, their band name was chosen um, because it sounds slightly like their actual surname, which is Bong uh, B O N G, and they sign their names uh, Quentin Bong, Hollis Bong, and Braden Bong. I think um, Jaden takes back his drumsticks and it's like stares at the rest of the group it's like and you can tell that he just like in his head replaying the video that um andy had shown him minutes ago trying to stay calm <sighs> thank you and just hides behind everyone again yeah no it's 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 always nice to meet fans and they and they they sort of gesture to like everybody around them and everybody kind of like claps and goes like woo so so who are all you like you're clearly super idols like do you have like Na- do you have like a name for like your group or anything? Or yes, like- uh, we're called Rhythmics. We just came up with it, so we don't have any merch or anything, but we're working on it. Oh yeah, like what kind of music do you do? Um, I would say it's a hybrid, actually. Oh, I get. Oh, uh, is it? Wait, is it a pun? And it, Braden goes like, "Oh wait, I think I see what you did there," because you didn't you didn't say how it was spelled. Yeah, Val- Valerie nods and says, "Yes, it's it's Rhythmics with with two X's." Oh hell yeah, that's so that's super cool. Uh thanks. Yeah. And pe- people nod like, yeah, that that that's cool. Like uh we'll be at the Stormlight actually and Valerie points with her sword uh on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> next Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's tight. Like you're already getting like uh you're already getting a time at the Stormlight. That's that's super cool. Like you must be good. Of course. Yeah, but we're still a high school uh, group, so we had originally come here to just promote, and we're really sorry that we uh, um, we crashed your show. Hopefully, um, everybody will still have fun today. Yeah, no, totally. Like, I, I guess, like, do you want to, and, and they kind of, like, gesture towards the stage, like, do you want to, do you want to jam a bit? Jaden is, like, he- I mean, like, if you need help promoting your show, like- uh, a video with us would probably help you a lot. Oh my god. Jaden's just like freaking out. He's just like, just looking back and forth between the Bowman Bros and the rest of Rhythmix. Like, <laughs> can, can we? Can we? <laughs> I would normally be ecstatic for that, but we're looking for our friend. Oh, Is like, it possible we could reschedule? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, we'd, we'd certainly love to, like, see some of your stuff, too. Like, message us on Idlegram. Send us send us a video or something. Uh, then we can, like, figure something out. How about? Oh, that's that would be so great. Thank you for understanding. It's just, um... No, totally get it. Like, you got, you got to 
do what you got to do sometimes. Like, I hope yeah. your friend is okay. Uh, we hope so, too. Um, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and I guess we'll exchange our official accounts. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> uh, But it was really great meeting you. Thank you very much for being so understanding. And once again, we're so sorry about this. Vivi does, like, a formal bow and, and says, sorry for intruding on your show. Apology accepted, um, says Hollis. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll see you around. Like, I I guess, <laughs> how, how are y'all getting down? Uh, oh, it's, it's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, there's like a fire escape over there. We'll just. <laughs> Quimby has been hanging back, trying to just look cool. But uh, she gives a gesture you do when you put two fingers to your head and then you. Oh, like a salute? Yeah, kind of like a, like a jokey salute. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Trying to play off as the brooding one. <laughs> <laughs> they get it. They they know they they meet a lot of idols. They know a bunch of different idol types, so they respect that. Uh, and certainly, some of their fans even go like, "Oh, she's so cool." They they all they kind of go like, "You're all so cool." Like now that they know that you're okay, like they that you didn't mean to like rain on their favorite idols parade. They're like, "All right, we'll check you out later." Hey. Mm -hmm. I think as we start like, leaving, Jane is still like backing away, still staring at <laughs> the pom pom frozen. <laughs> just the widest grin on his face. As, uh, they, as Valerie he... holds out her sword so that instead of stepping backwards off the roof, she stops him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, yes. Hey, so watch, okay. watch your step. Don't fall. Yeah. So you all make your way down the fire escape or whatever method you've deemed to be most safe for getting down from the roof. <laughs> uh, and you, you meet up with Karen down below and, and she asks, so did you find anything useful up there? Um, for the band, yes. Uh, for finding Anne, not so no. much. Oh, yeah, did you get some cool butterfly pictures? Oh, we forgot to take the picture of the butterfly. We'll tell you about this all li later when there's nobody around. Oh, that's a shame. They are kind of fast. They get away pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, well, next time. Okay, I guess, um, let's go down this street and look for Anne. All right. Yes. All right, so you're you're investigating down this street, um, and I'm going to say, like, who, who all wants to do the most active investigating? I think v Valerie, or I, th I think Vivi is going to take the charge. I'm trying to keep that straight, but you know, it's the same person. Oh, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vivi's gonna I think try to take the lead on uh, or at least be active herself on looking to see if there's anything that looks like it uh, it got, you know, scuffed or dented when a very large girl made out of rock uh, bumped into <laughs> it or stepped on it. A reasonable thing to look for. <laughs> Uh, so why don't you roll uh, industry espionage for me? All right. Okay. That is a 10. Very good. So you get to ask uh, two questions from the list. Uh, what happened here? What here is most useful or valuable to me? What can I use to find blank? Who can I talk to for more leads? What is something that's being concealed? How can I best conceal myself here? And what sort of magic is involved? Hmm. Uh, first, I'm going to ask uh, what happened here, just because that's what I'm... I'm trying to figure out is is where where Anne went after leaving the alley. All right, so you you make your way down this street, and you you definitely notice like the further you go down it, the the further away from the main neon district you get. Like it's it's bright enough from where you start, but the the light starts to get dimmer the further down the street you go. And the street lights start to get further and farther between, and you you know that there's definitely more like shadowy areas where it's possible like someone like wouldn't be seen um and as you as you all like examine like the the general area you think it's possible that like someone like could have and could have disappeared in one of these darker areas mm -hmm. and of course i would like to know what sort of magic is involved mm -hmm. i was hoping you might ask that one <laughs> 
Uh, so you're you're kind of reaching out with your telepathy as well because you know that whatever mm -hmm. evidence is here might not be physical, uh, and you want to cover all your bases. Like everybody mm -hmm. else is kind of looking and looking for physical evidence to, uh, to look for the kind of like stuff scuffs that you mentioned. Uh, if anybody else does want to find that info, you can also roll ind industry espionage again after we finish with what Valerie finds out. Um, but Valerie's reaching out with her telepathy and also just generally kind of extending her magical senses um, and does pick up on something very faint, but it is there. Uh, again, near one of these kind of like areas between the street lamps where the shadows are stronger uh, and it is getting later in the evening. So it's not quite as dark as it was when you left the, the stormlight before, but you know that at night it probably would be quite dark in this area and you in this in this region of the street, you pick up a magical signature um, that seems like it could have uh, it could have been related to like a door almost like not quite like something that's solid, but it feels like it could be used to travel from one place to another. Hmm. Yeah, I'll point that out to the rest of the group. So I think I this looks. This this feels like there's there's some some kind of magic here before that, and this this would have been a a good place to, I guess, disappear or to grab someone. It's just you can already getting getting dark. So you've just finished telling people what that there was like some kind of magic used to like disappear someone here. Yeah, and it it seems like this area like this this spot is you know dark enough that it would be. A likely place to to disappear. Mm -hmm. hmm. That would make sense. Like, and doesn't exactly go unnoticed. Yeah, for her to go missing like that, some sort of power would have to be involved. Is someone after Anne? Didn't she talk about anybody that was watching her, following her, or anything like that? No, she didn't. She didn't really talk about anything outside the group, at least not with me. Hmm. Jaden's gonna walk over to like the area um, that Vivi had pointed out and just like wave his hands around Does he, like if you can feel anything anything odd. Uh, are you trying to, to feel some, some magic here too? Yes. In a, but he doesn't, he doesn't look professional doing it at all. He has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> But he's trying to like, feel it. It's just, he's trying to feel it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to think if, if this would be an Unleash Your Powers or if a, or, or if one of your burn would help with this. Um, I don't think any of my burns help with this. Mm, actually, um, here's something. Uh, if you roll Unleash Your Powers, I think I, ha I have something I could give you. Oh, okay. Oh, I just hope I don't fail again. Um... All right, you get a that's, seven. That's, it. that's still a that's still a hit. Cool. All right, so on a seven to nine for unleash your powers, uh, you mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. I think this is just a detect move, so there's not much way that it can be unstable or temporary. So unfortunately, I have to mark a condition for you. I think. No, yeah, that's fair. Uh, what would you like to mark? I'll let you mark whatever one you want. I think he's afraid. He's kind of worried about Anne. So I think mm -hmm. afraid makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. So yeah, so you mark afraid, uh, but you do pick something up with your with your abilities. You're sensing you you can't quite sense the like straight up telepathic or magical energies like Vivi can, uh, but you do have yeah. uh, elemental control is of course your power and something you 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 actually pick up something in the air that is a little unexpected. You pick up some kind of like magical like water signature in the air it's very faint it's very very faint um but it, it almost feels like it like a very like there was like some kind of magical fog in the area at the, at some point Ooh. okay i have a question yes could i control it could i like condense it and i don't know Ooh. Interesting. just so we can i don't know sample it at some point in the, in the future <laughs> I think here's here's the option I'll give you. You can unleash your powers again to get an effective but very basic something out of this. Or if you roll up your burn and use overcharge, I'll give you something very impressive. 
Oh god, okay. Um, you know, yeah, why not? Go big or go home. I want to <laughs> do it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you get to roll plus conditions marked. So you get to roll with a plus one. <sighs> so I guess it's a good thing you marked that condition. That's pretty good. A nine. Very good. Alright. So on a nine, you get your three burn and you mark another condition. Oh boy. So you're, you're um, really over, you're extending your senses a lot for this because it's a, yeah. because it's so faint you have to extend your your powers quite far to make to like get anything out of this. Oh, I think he's he's not angry or guilty. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think he's guilty. He still feels bad about <laughs> accidentally <laughs> crashing. The, yeah, that's that makes the sense. Performance concert. Yeah, I'll go guilty. Sure. <laughs> All right. So you you get your burn. Yeah, now spend two burn for overcharge. You spend two burn. You effectively take a ten plus and unleash your powers. So what you're what you get out of this is you you you're straining. You're you're really grasping at these like very faint particles and trying to be like, where are you? Where did you come from? Come back together. Do something. Make yourself like you were. And you're you're trying to pull more and more fog particles. And you're reaching even into like. A space in time and space that you're you're not even sure is in this plane of existence. You feel your your powers reaching that far into this, and you pull more of these fog particles out, and suddenly you get this big burst as you, you pull all of this fog out at once. And just for a moment, but you definitely see it. You see, and everybody sees this. You see a foggy outline of someone in a robe before the fog disperses again. Um. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what I just did, but I think whoever that was has something to do with it. Um, there was water. I, I kind of, I guess, just asked the water to help me out. So do you, you think that might have been a person that kidnapped Anne or, or, or took her away somewhere? Uh. I mean, it has to be. They're, they're definitely tied to whatever the energy you're feeling was and the source of the water vapors I could feel around here. So, we have a creepy hooded kidnapper? Yes. How do we find where she is? I, I don't know. And Karen is looking puzzled as well. Um, and she's, she's looking very, very deep in thought, actually. So, we can't find Anne quite yet, but we have a lot, or at least enough information about the powers of someone who took her, so we have to figure out what kind of powers are involved here. Mm. And then if we can pinpoint that person, maybe we can find Anne. So... Jaden, you're saying that it's water. They did it with water. That was one of the things they used. I don't know if that's all, but yeah, there was some water. Oh, there's something I want to try. Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. What, do, what do you have uh, in mind? I Would I be able to, would I have been, have been able to get my hands on anything of hand, like a hat or something? Oh. Um, yeah, I wonder if it's, like, something you maybe would have thought to bring with you on this investigation. I think from a locker, yes, or something that she might have left in the practice room. Yeah, maybe, like, one of her, one of her toques. She, she left a toque, um, uh, in the club room at one point. Okay, so I've never done this before. I'm not certain it will work, and, uh, uh, Karen, honey, please stand back a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. And she's she's still looking a little unsure, um, but definitely like still kind of like considering all this information that's just come to light. I want to try and call the bees and see if I can use the bees as uh, uh, bloodhounds. Oh. <laughs> look for try and look for and smell <laughs> scent. Sure, <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Would all that right. be an in investigation or a? Uh... Or um, an I unleash it, your powers. I think it would be an unleash your powers. Okay. And... Oh, 
use a team point. We've got those. Yeah, you have three team points. We've been saving them for just this moment. Okay, yes. (laughs) Um, I'll I'll help Queen Bee. I guess I could just help waft the scent. Okay. So <laughs> I've got a controllable air, I guess I can help waft the scent to the bees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yes. Well, as much sense as all this, like, pseudoscience magic stuff makes anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so the bees swarm down, they swirl all around on them, and Jay then pushes the, the air, and then they start uh, going their separate ways. All right, yeah, so the, and, and I'm yeah. going to say since this is a seven to nine, so the effect is going to be either unstable or temporary, uh, or you can mark a condition if you don't want it to be. Uh, which would you prefer? I'm going to I'm gonna mark a condition. All right, which condition are you marking? I'm marking insecure. Okay. I have never tried this before, and I haven't had the best luck with my bees lately. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, so yes, you, you managed to summon some, some bees in the area. It's not as many as you... Uh, normally would like, um, but there are some in the area, and they they respond to your call, and you sort of direct them uh, with together with Jaden, like directing the air currents, it, uh, the relevant air currents from the hat towards them, uh, and you get them to sort of like search for that like scent or uh, pheromones or whatever bees sense with, <laughs> and the what you see is they they form actually what looks like a very like spread out kind of line almost that uh, that seems to follow the path of someone who might have been walking down the street at some point and the path stops directly where um, Valerie sensed the energy and where Jaden pulled the, the fog silhouette out of. And that's where the scent stops. So you were right. That's, a, that's how it went. She was walking that way and then Something happened. I, um, usually I don't find it so hard to just pull water out of air. Um, I mean, like, it's, there's a lot of water vapor around, usually. Um, but that, I pulled those out from not here. It, it didn't feel, it was difficult, like it wasn't meant to be here, or... I don't really know how to explain it. I have never really done that before, but it just didn't feel right. Um, yeah, there was definitely like a magical like energy to these these water droplets that you don't feel around regular water vapor. Yeah. Is there like a database um, with like idols of powers? Maybe you can run it by that? Oh, so there's got to be control. like an idolpedia or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah idolpedia. Maybe- <laughs> Maybe we can check out Idolpedia and just see what idols have powers that kind of match. Like, I guess, transportation and, um, I mean, teleportation and water control, water creation. Yeah, sure, you can do that. Uh, you're, you all have phones, you can search that on the fly. Yeah, we're all searching. <laughs> At this moment, everyone head down on the phone. To- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as you're as you're searching Idolpedia for like fog powers or water powers or vapor powers, uh, you don't find much with water powers because like so many idols have water powers, it's hard to tell. Um, and not many idols like specifically have fog powers. Uh, but when you search vapor powers, um, the most prominent search result you get um, is a, a two man idol group. Uh, their their name is. Vape or wave. That's three words. Vape, space, or space, wave. <laughs> and the vape oh, and wave are capitalized. <laughs> I don't know if I love them or hate them. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> uh, well, we hate them if they can have death. <laughs> and exactly. you, uh, their profile shows that uh, vape has does have vapor control powers. And of course, he constantly is ripping mad cotton. Um <laughs> <laughs> and Wave has water walking powers, which allow him to walk on the vapors that Vape creates. And that's what they do for their act. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Hmm. So, I mean, they kind of match the fog part, but I don't think anyone can they teleport people. Well, what if he can just walk on water, but can like walk through, tele- use it to teleport? 
Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that, but like the the article isn't like fully fleshed out. Like it's marked with uh, it's a <laughs> this article is a stub citation needed. They're relatively new idols. Um, do we know if they're? Can we figure out if they're associated with a particular agency or if they're performing anywhere soon? Uh, yeah, sure. There's you can see there's a little link to like upcoming shows, and it links to their their idolgram page. Uh, and you can see their their next show is going to be uh, at a relatively smaller venue, kind of in the south end of the city. Um, it's like a pub environment. Um, and uh, what what what's a good name for a pub? Uh, <laughs> does anybody have a, an idea for for a good name of a of a of a pub <laughs> that would allow like a musical performer? Uh, mm. I keep thinking of like Irish names. <laughs> Do it, yeah. Just be yeah, yes. Why not? Yeah, like yeah, a McCready's. Maybe mm. this is the name that first came up. I'm down for that. <laughs> it reminds Jaden of home. There were some Irish pubs there. Uh, I reckon home. Yeah, they're they're next playing McCready's Bar and Grill and Pub. Yes, all three of those. <laughs> I guess when are they playing at this pub? Um. They are going to be playing, uh, let's say, Wednesday night uh, at 7 p.m. Okay. And in-game Wait, it's the date today? Monday? It's yeah, Sunday. Uh, Sunday, yes. Sunday. Okay. okay. And do they have a management company or anything like that? They don't. But you, when upon looking at their Idlegram page, you do notice that a lot of their recent posts are sponsored posts for Crimson Signal. Hmm. And actually, uh, here's here's something I'll give to uh, Angie gonna... and B. Uh, you you start to like you look at their picture a little bit more, and you you realize, wait a minute, those two were at the tour with us. They were in amongst the like the few like other idols that were there taking the tour. Oh my god, there was a vaping douchebag. <laughs> wait, where? We were invited to tour this uh, new company headquarters. No biggie. Crimson Signal. Wait, what? No way. Yeah, would you have told would you have told Valerie and Jaden about this already or no? Like it is only maybe the day not. after it happened. Yeah, maybe not. We were oh. distracted by other things. Yeah, a lot of things have been happening. Yeah. Yeah. That's very well, good. Anne, Anne has taken priority for sure. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, by the way. Uh get closer to Valerie and pull out a calling card. It's not uh, as cool a streak as yours, but look at the name. Yeah, actually, you take a look at this card. Uh, on the front, it it actually just says Sasha with an exclamation mark. And on the back is a, a gold QR code with stars on it. And you put two and two together and you realize that this card belongs to Sasha Samuel, the CEO of Starforge Records. Oh, my, my eyes go very wide. As I said, a biggie. That was really the only good part about the tour. The rest of it was pretty boring. So, Wait, so... And Karen's eyes go wide as well, like, Oh my god, Sasha, are you kidding? And this is probably the most excited you've ever seen her look about anything. She was really nice. She was really cool. You got to talk to Sasha Lemuse? That's Sasha Samuel's um, idol name from back in the day. I've got a hunch about this this other group. Um, hmm. on their, when we're looking at their website, do we see anything about potential dangers to the audience members or anything like that? Are you asking if they're saying anything about the dangers of Crimson Signal Tech or about their own powers? No, specifically if at their That's concerts a, it's harmful a or, or a danger to Oh, like the if there's a splash zone members. or something? Yeah, and I'm trying to see if there's a connection between them and the person we dance battled. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, my intention is to see if there's anything like that. Um not not really. The most you see is that like there there's a a minor splash zone in the in the front row or two and it's yeah. not even really a splash zone, it's more like a mist zone. <laughs> okay. I guess it, I guess there might be a nicotine warning if <laughs> yeah. if there is actual like <laughs> vaping happening too. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just, I was just curious. Yeah, no, nothing quite like that. Their powers don't get that out of control. 
But then again, neither did uh, did zero degrees really before that day. Hmm. So we should like. Sorry, I'm just imagining all of the arguments that uh, vape has had with venue owners that it's not the same thing as smoking, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they have to perform at like an 18 plus like pub where smoking is allowed. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're going to the pub, right? To talk to them to figure things out. Um, the like, closest thing we have to a lead. Yeah. But we have to wait till Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll probably have to focus on your like rehearsals and whatnot in time mm -hmm. in between, unless you have other uh, other things you want to try for this investigation in the meanwhile. Um, I mean, we should probably be doing practice and preparation. Uh, but I I do say, even if they're not connected, maybe if their powers are you know even even closer to whatever happened here, maybe they can they can help us figure it out too. Yeah, that's true. That's good. That's a smart idea. Maybe we should not antagonize them from the start. And that that Vivi looks back down at her phone and the name Vaporwave and she just kind of makes an <laughs> eh face. <laughs> <laughs> They're very antagonizable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we we practice and then we have a show to go to on Wednesday. Mhm. Mm Karen still just got the, the business card in her hands going like, I, she touched this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you should have she's, seen she's, should have this. Seen is the, man <laughs> this is the so Jaden cool. fangirling equivalent for Karen. <laughs> <laughs> she was really nice. And um, she really liked B. Like, she saw the dance video of B and she said she was doing really good. And she complimented me, too. Oh, you... That's like oh oh oh, oh my! Did, did she say she she's gonna like follow the group or anything? She said we haven't asked her, but uh, she said she was gonna keep an eye out to see what we have. Uh... And she mentioned something about a reference for the sing star. Yeah, putting in a good word. That's amazing. Well, that's. Great. I'm I'm sure that um I'm sure that's fantastic and she'll be impressed with the whole group when when she sees us. Yeah. Cause we'll be way more practiced and established than we are now. So if she's saying good stuff about me and me now, imagine what she's gonna say about us at Singstar. Oh yes. I'm gonna cheer for everybody twice as hard now. That's impressive, because you already cheer for us pretty hard, Karen. I know, right? <laughs> oh, yes. So, so, anyways, so you all you all wrap up your evening, I suppose, at this point. It's starting to get darker, and you probably don't want to be in a shady area, uh, area of town once mm -hmm. it gets dark, lest you, mm -hmm. lest you all get disappeared, possibly, somehow. Oh, uh, yeah. Unless anybody does want to risk that and see if that happens. Uh, no. Uh, I mean... Nope. No. No. I mean, we we could try and set up a sting, but too many people saw us already. So yeah, yeah, you're not really <laughs> yeah. in a great position for it. You, as you walk down or further back up to the where the more streetlights are, you see more people like pointing at you who saw you earlier, like, "Oh, look, it's them again!" And some more pictures go off. Wave. <laughs> yeah, I wave as well. I think I, you know, might as well because Jaden really doesn't care. People know he just kind of like <laughs> de-transforms as they're leaving as well. And Karen is passing out some little cards that she brought with her as well that has, like, information about the show as people pass, like, come see Rhythmics on Saturday, come see Rhythmics on Saturday. <laughs> How did she get those? <laughs> she brought them I, I with her. I don't know. <laughs> she can access high space. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's a very mysterious oh, person. <laughs> I'm waiting for the plot twist. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> It's in all those po it's in all her pockets and her cargo shorts. Exactly, she does canonically canonically have cargo shorts. She oh, just yeah. pulls them out of a cargo short pocket. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna de-transform. All right. <laughs> yes, if everybody's um, de-transforming, uh, maybe like quickly, like everybody decide what uh, labels you're shifting, and we'll we'll rapid fire them real quick here. Yeah, I'm gonna go mundane up and save it down. Okay. Um, 
just undoing what I did last time, basically. Oh shoot, wait, I forgot I'm supposed to pick these. <laughs> oh yeah. Everybody's transferring back. I have, I have no problem with what oh. you were just going to do there, Jaden, so I'll just do that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Angie, you, you felt pretty good about your investigative skills today, so I'm going to bump your superior up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and yeah, your danger down, because there hasn't been a ton of like threats to deal with. And certainly not after you detransform. Yeah. And, Sounds good to me. And for is, uh, Vivi, I guess you're finding another alley to detransform in. Yes. I think I will do sort of a similar logic for Valerie. I'm going to go danger down and let's go uh, mundane up. Just because you're going mundane again. Hmm. All right. And uh, Queen Bee is still Queen Bee, I take it. Oh, yes. All right, so yeah, so everybody detransforms in their own uh, manner and way. <laughs> Actually, Valerie, you it might be pretty easy for people to tell who you are, considering, like, Angie and Jaden are not hiding their identities, and Queen Bee still looks like Queen Bee, so it's pretty easy to tell who Violence Violet is in this group. <laughs> so you might possibly want to separate from them. Yeah, I, I figured I would, like, you know, split up before mm -hmm. transforming. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you all you all detransform and you make your ways however you need to make your ways to get out of this area and start heading back home. Maybe you meet up again later on the way back home somewhere or maybe you don't. <laughs> I don't know. You might be you might be getting too cautious for that at this point. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. So I think you had a very productive evening. Uh like you you have a pretty good idea of what happened to Anne at this point. It's not great. But you know more than you did, at least now. Uh, you made a, a very cool connection this evening that you weren't expecting to make. Mm -hmm. uh, and you yeah. never forget that. <laughs> you blew up your your new rhythmics hashtag for the first time. And as you, you all roll into your, your homes and your beds and whatnot and start scrolling through Idlegram and whatnot, you see um, all the support for Rhythmics and the cool stuff that they did in the Neon District today. Oh, it's so, it's such a bittersweet yeah. <laughs> feeling. Yeah. And Jaden, you get one last little treat. Uh, I think you all probably have access to the, the group Rhythmics Idlegram account. So when you log into that account later tonight, you see a DM from the official Bomb Bomb Bros account saying, we'll see you all soon. Honestly, Jaden's probably up in his room when he sees this and he just lets out like the most fangirly scream ever. Thank you so much for listening to Super Idols RPG. Our cast for today was Dana Alexa as Valerie Pierce, T as Evangeline Blake, Draconix as Jaden Lott, Luca as Queen Bee, and Aaron Cerise as the GM. Special thanks go to today's featured VIP patrons, Circus, Chris T, Eric Kune, and Rachel Waffle. This campaign is played using Masks, a new generation, written by Brendan Conway and published by Magpie Games, with custom moves by Aaron Cerise and Zach P. Our opening theme is Le Chevalier Noir Instrumental by Cyborg Jeff, and is used under license from Gemendo Music. Our ending theme is Born to Drive Me Crazy Instrumental by Lance Conrad and is under license from Storyblocks.com. All other incidental music and sound effects for this episode are licensed from Storyblocks.com, Freesound.org, and the YouTube Audio Library, with the exception of Fireworks, a Creative Commons track by Gmode. If you liked this episode, please consider liking and commenting on the YouTube upload, or leaving us a review on your podcasting platform of choice. You can also support this podcast monthly on Patreon at patreon.com slash Aaron Cerise or through a one-time donation on Ko-fi at ko-fi.com slash Aaron Cerise. Super Idols RPG is a proud member of Be Gay Roll Dice, a network for RPG podcasts made by LGBTQIA plus creators. You can check out all the great independent queer shows on our network at twitter.com slash Be Gay Roll Dice. Stay tuned for a promo from our network partner, Everyone Dice. Thank you all for listening, stay well, and goodbye until next time! 
Everyone Dies is a tabletop RPG actual play show produced by Compass Rose Productions. We are a group of queer players with a focus on roleplay, an emphasis on diverse storytelling, and a goal of creating happy endings for people who don't usually get them. Currently, we are using D&D 5th edition and playing through a dark fantasy homebrew campaign inspired by the world of Innistrad. Everyone Dice streams on Twitch at 4pm PST and is available on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter at Everyone Dice for more information.